Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about uh, Linux package managers and how to use them to manage software installations and updates and all that kind of stuff in Linux. So if you prefer written content, um, be sure to check out the blog post associated with this tutorial in the description below. So in order to install something, uh, there's with Ubuntu or Debian based um, systems, they've got this like software store. So if you want to install something with the GUI to make it simple, then you can just click on the software store and then you click the search and you can look for something, Sublime Text, and then you click it and click install and enter your password obviously. And that's about it. Okay, so the second way to install things, and it, this event, essentially it does the exact same thing as what we just did with Sublime Text, uh, is to use the, um, the command line. So if you want to install something, you basically just run sudo, well, apt upgrade to make sure that your um, repository is um, update. And I believe upgrade actually updates all of the software as well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that here and I'll just see you in a second okay and that's one of the benefits right there of um, the Linux package manager is just with that simple command we updated all of the software on our system well I mean well all of it for the most part I mean technically there's a couple minor nuances but yeah most of, most of it we've done Okay, and so once we have updated the repositories, then we can install new software. And we can actually install it without updating, um, but we just get possibly outdated packages, which is fine because then we just update it. But let's go ahead and install some packages via the command line. So I'm going to go so sudo apt install, I'll say vim. And then you can also install multiple packages at once by just putting a space, bar, a space in between each package name. So we'll install Vim and uh, ZSH, I guess. So there we go. And it'll tell you blah, blah, blah. This is what we need. And we'll go ahead and upgrade that. OK, and so if you decided that you didn't want a package or you wanted to uninstall something, you would just do sudo apt remove and then the name of the package. So let's go ahead and remove ZSH. And so we'll go ahead and yes to remove that okay so that's gone but we still have those unused dependencies that are lying around in the system that ZSH required and so because we don't have ZSH anymore we need to remove the dependencies and you can do that with sudo apt auto remove which it tells you right there how to do see it yes and then that way you'll get rid of any unused packages on your system hey everyone if you like the video be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to get the latest tutorials sent to you okay let's go ahead and try to install a package that doesn't exist in uh, there that can't be found so sudo apt install atom a popular text editor it says no package Atom, but there is a snap with that name. So well, let's pretend that snap doesn't exist or that this package isn't in snap. Um, I'll do talk about that later. Um, so we need to figure out how to get Atom. And there's several, like, so basically you can look for it, but they'll want you to add like a PPA. And so basically what's happening is Ubuntu is not finding the Atom package. And so if you look in... Well, basically what's happening is the, the package manager, manager is looking through four different repositories, so main, universe, restricted, and multiverse. And so it'll look through each of these looking for the package called Atom. And, and these are hosted on the internet. Um, and if it's not found, then it just says the package isn't found. So what we need to do is we need to add um, a repository that has Atom inside of it. And so you can see the this slash etsy apt uh, slash sources dot list is the directory where um or is the file that that tells Ubuntu where to look, um, and then it also is connected to this uh, dot sources dot list dot d directory. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So uh, etsy apt 
sources.list.d. And so we see there's nothing in here. And so what we want to do is we want to add the repository that has Atom inside of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Launchpad, type in Atom, and search for it. And then Launchpad is just like a big thing. So anyway, uh, where you can find packages. But anyway, so uh, this Atom text editor here. And it's going to give us instructions on how to install Atom. So add this PPA to your system. So sudo add apt repository PPA. And let's go ahead and do that. So copy. And then let's paste that into our repo into our term terminal. Okay, so we added the the web up d team atom package to our repository. Or to the list of repositories that Ubuntu searches through. Okay, and now we update the system. So sudo apt update. Okay, and now let's go ahead and sudo apt install Atom. And now all of a sudden it's found it. And so I'm going to say no, not install it now, but let's go ahead and look at our sources.list.d. So if we do ls, we can see that now this uh, this new repository is being searched through, and it's in the sources.list.d. And so basically if you want to remove it, then you would just, you know, remove the web up. Um, you would just remove that file. But anyway, so that's basically what's happening when you're installing PPAs um, to the system. And so if you want to install a new package, you just add the PPA, and then that's how the system will find it. Hopefully that makes sense. And then you can also see this happening with other um, packages. So we've got here this Iridium browser, and you can see that these package instructions, installation instructions for Debian systems like Ubuntu is, uh, you know, it does some, like, um, verification key kind of thing and then eventually you see that it's basically adding a file to the sources.list.d um, with the Iridium browser repository and it's telling it where to look and so basically by doing this you're basically just doing the same thing that we just did only instead of using PPA we're adding the repository you know with this command here so if we go ahead and copy and paste that uh, oop, looks like it did it all right. Okay, so sudo get apt get update, add the repository, uh, install Iridium browser. I'm not going to install it yet, but I am going to do ls, and now we can see this Iridium dot hyphen browser repository. So, um, however you do it, that's essentially what you're doing. You're just adding a repository to be searched through, and then you can you can remove it if you don't need it anymore. And that's pretty much how package management works here in Linux. The last thing I wanted to talk about is what to do when you have a package that is not in a repository and it's not in um, the, the package manager. So like it's maybe on GitHub or something like that. Well, so instead of running, um, you know, sudo make install to install a package from source, you can use this check install um, package to have a way to manage it and so basically I believe what it does is it creates a deb like a deb package for it so you can use check install to uninstall the package because most of these um, most of these smaller type of packages don't have an uninstall command so they're just kinda stuck on your computer so using check install will help with that I'm gonna go ahead and install it you know sudo apt get update and all that kinda stuff be back in a sec. So we'll just copy and paste that. And then, well, not that it matters. Okay, app get update and apt install, check install. Okay, and now we can go ahead and copy or get, get grab this package from git or github. Okay, and so we've got that cloned, and then so we'll cd into escape, so cd into escape, 
And then instead of running make and sudo make install, uh, it says, well, it says run sudo check install. So we can run make. So we'll do make. And then instead of sudo make install, it's sudo check install. So sudo check install. Okay, and uh, this package documentation directory dot pack does not exist. Should I create a default set of package docs? Probably. Oh, please write a description for the package and your description with an empty line or EOF. Okay, so we can describe the package. Um, sets caps lock or well I guess it does more than that so it adjusts modifier keys helps with caps lock to control and escape okay and this package will be built according to these values Enter a number to change any of them or press enter to continue. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so we should have this package installed now. And so if we do, I believe it's apt list hyphen hyphen installed, we can see all the packages installed on our system. And we should be see escape here. It says installed locally. Um, so escape is being tracked by the package manager and so then um, what was that instruction to remove it if you wanted to remove it and I so I believe you can actually I'm 99% I'm sure that you can remove this um, this pack the, the folder where we installed it from so we should be able to remove and I'm gonna do a bad thing don't uh, yeah anyway bad command but it removes the escape and um, yeah, so that's gone. And now if we wanted to remove the package as a whole, we could do uh, sudo dpkg dpkg, uh, is it r? Yeah, hyphen r and then escape. And then it's gone. And now if we do app list installed again, we don't have escape. So that's basically how you manage, with check install is how you manage packages that aren't in the repository by default. And I think that's it for package managers. I should give you a really good idea of how to manage them. Be sure to check out the web, the blog post for more details or anything that I had missed or maybe you've gotten wrong or updates or whatever. And so check that out and I'll see you soon. Have a good one and subscribe to the channel. If you found the video helpful, please smash the like button and leave a comment letting me know what else you'd like to have me do a video on. Be sure to check out our blog for more tutorials on other things other than Linux and all that kind of stuff. So we got a bunch of stuff on our website and check that out. Have a good day, everybody.